you guys hope you guys had a great weekend welcome back to the channel this is kelly from house of virgo if you're new please smash that like button and subscribe all right virgo let's get into your week ahead wow we're going into july already I can't this. so this is going to be from june 25th through july 1st let's see what the messages are showing up here for you uh no specific topic whatever shows up right that's how it's gonna go whatever shows up here just gonna get right into it all right virgo so you're obviously thinking you got something you're you're milling over i'm hearing you you're you're thinking about whether you should or shouldn't do something okay you got something on your mind here something to do with money what can you do with your money how can you increase your income or how can you save should you spend on something should you how much should you take out that kind of thing like should you should you buy that thing or should you not there's this little bit of like hesitation i feel is going on here this week whether or not you should do something okay um looking at your looking at your savings too do you have enough? Do you not have enough? That that's kind of the energy here. The Seven of Pentacles. This there's a waiting here. There is a waiting energy all around in all areas of your life right now. Whether or not you should invest in something, whether or not you should put your effort into something here. Okay. Yep. You, you, there's a lot of options, but there's like this one thing here, Virgo, that I feel like you're you can't quite figure out. And, and that has a lot to do with why you're why you're waiting why you're hesitating i feel like maybe you get some messages in your dreams or there's something you really want maybe somebody's ghosted and you're trying to figure out if should you reach out should you not reach out or if you ghosted somebody um are they going to reach out are they not going to reach out or if there's just been like forget even ghosting i mean i say ghosting because I, this is always like i see a ghost here right but there's also um, maybe not ghosting or maybe there's just this lack of, there's something lacking here. Even with the seven of cups, this is because you have two sevens here. Maybe somebody's born in 77 or July 7th. There's something going on here where there's like, maybe there's commitment issues. There's like, I, I'm, I'm hearing somebody is not sure. Somebody doesn't know what to do. Um, even questioning everything I've put into this. Do I want to keep, do I want to give it my last shot or do I not want to give this my last shot? Okay. Oh, look at this. Wow. So there's definitely something going on here with, I think you or another person is going to have one more. There's, there is going to be a one, one more coin flipped in the fountain of wishes they're giving me an image of fountain like a fountain where you flip a coin in and you make a wish this is like okay one last thing here this is going to be it i'm going to i feel like it's I'm, this is going to be my final thing i'm going to i'm going to put it in there one last ditch effort because when we add one to a seven we have the eight of pentacles and that is the effort okay this is like i'm gonna try one last time somebody's saying it but it feels not, let me let me take that back not so much last time but i'm gonna try one more time that's what i feel like it is so hmm. <laughs> i'm hearing hope this works i hope this is gonna be it I'm taking a huge, like I'm juggling, I'm gambling here. I'm taking a huge risk doing this. Yep, so you might be trying to figure out, like in the beginning of this week, should you or shouldn't you? It's a question. And, you know, I feel like towards the end of the week, you're going to lean towards picking up that pinnacle, holding it up real high. I'm really seeing how much this is worth and how what this value is. I see you weighing it, you know. Are you going to actually go for it? Are you going to actually do it? Or is another person going to actually do it? We'll see. But it's like weighing heavily this week on your mind if you want to take this, this chance. If you want to commit to something. 
Remember, the roles could be reversed. This could be somebody else as well. So again, this could have something to do with your job, your career, your love life, a relationship. Um, it could have something to do with your health, family, uh, anything like that. I, I'm not picking up too much specific, specific about who. If a court card shows up, I'll definitely tell you. But I really, like I'm feeling, this is really weighing the options here really weighing it is it worth it all right there's the first court card so something to do with the queen of cups now this could be your energy this week virgo where you're really trying to like open up the, the lid on your emotions to see how you feel do you really want to nurture this give this support to another person or it, it's something to do about um a water sign and this is their energy okay there's a lot of hesitation here a lot of hesitation let's see what else is showing up here yeah because there's anxiety there's stress bad dreams <laughs> nightmares conflict there's mental conflict Ooh, okay for some of you this has something to do with having a child or becoming pregnant or going through a reproductive surgery there's something serious it's a serious week it's like hmm should i do this or shouldn't i it could be about you know changing your looks you know the this is a new beginning with the empress here mm -mm -mm. and the death card this is listen to me ergo this is this is a major transformation happening here it's a big deal this week there's something here that's a big deal and it's taking it's not one of these decisions because the two of pentacles that's a decision card it's not being taken lightly this is huge this week this is huge there's, there might be a couple of choices here weighing some options for sure but this is huge this is going to be like this is taking a new chance a new beginning Yeah, so uh, there's uh, so we have Libra here as well. Like I said, there's water signs. The death is the Scorpio energy. There's a huge change. All right, so hmm. there's going to be some kind of communication or an offer that gets made this week or is given. Yeah, somebody's doing this. You or another person is doing it. It's like, go. It's go time. Whatever this decision is, it's going to be, you're going to think about it. Another person's going to think about it. Somebody, somebody here is going to really weigh this out and go for it. Yep. And start this whole new beginning. This whole new chapter. Hmm. There's a devil. <laughs> oh me. Oh my. <laughs> So as you know, the devil always deals with addiction, greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust. Yep. Yep. This is like chained. Okay. This is chained. This is an energy of like, yes, I'm bound to this. I'm going to do it. I'm bound to this. I'm bound to this person. I'm bound to this new way of life. I can't get away from it. I'm taking that, that I'm leaving the past behind. I'm starting this new chapter. Okay. You or another person. All right. And then things get going. So what is going on? Do you leave a comment? If you are in the chat here, if this is resonating, what is your situation? Okay. If it's not resonating for you, this is, can, this is another person. Could be a Capricorn. It could be a Leo. Or a Taurus could be an Aquarius. There is this major shift, swift movement. It's once this decision gets made, could have something to do with travel. Once want this victory, once this decision is made, it's go time. There is no stopping. Cupid's arrows for some of you has to do with love. Lots of communication, messages coming travel fast swift travel good news i mean it feels positive but it, it feels like it's something that's requiring a lot of thought okay so does that mean that somebody that you're connecting with is gonna uh, take a leap of faith 
make a move in a positive direction towards you? Absolutely. Or a job is, is been weighing something out and is going to finally make that reach out and be like, we made a decision. We're choosing you. We want you to be with us. Or it's you making this final, like, like the weighing this out and saying, you know what? The stress, can't deal with the stress anymore. It's time to go. Yes. So whatever the situation is, it, it's going to be a, a positive thing. That's how I feel. It's going to be a positive thing. Okay, now we have the King of Cups. So we've got two court cards here. So I, I, they're just saying to me, it's a match. Something's a match. So whatever this decision is that's being made, this feels like it's the right decision. It's a match here. Checkmate. They just said checkmate. Kings and queens. <laughs> checkmate. Okay, what else is going on here? All right, so. Hmm. They just gave me... Um, Somebody's an empire, an, an umpire. Somebody's an umpire for like a baseball game, a baseball team or something, or works as, as like a referee or an umpire. Okay, <laughs> that's a very odd message. So, all right. There's a curious energy surrounding you at this time, Virgo. Um, something's being brought together, a situation um, I'm hearing divine timing. There's a curiosity. There's some type of communication. There's You're going to be asked something. You're going to be asked. Somebody's going to ask you something. Could be a Sag or a Leo. Give me a second here. Hmm. Ask you for some truth. Somebody's watching you, Virgo. Trying to get some information. I feel like they're going to reach out and ask you something. Oh. Oh, I just heard. Are you ready, Virgo? Are you ready? Somebody's going to ask you if you're ready for this. That's, that's the phrase they're giving me. Are you ready for this? Are you ready to do this? I've been waiting. Are you ready to do this? Are you ready to commit? Whatever it might be. Remember, we were talking about like it could be in any area of your life, but you're, you're getting a question and somebody's going to ask you, are you ready? Are you ready to come this way? Are you ready to accept this offer? Somebody's making an offer, but they're curious. They want to know where you stand. What's your answer? Oh my gosh, they just gave me, remember that old meatloaf video from like the 70s or 80s? I want to know right now, do you love me? Do you love me forever? Do you need me? <laughs> that's, that's, I, I feel like it's something to do with that. There's some kind of question in sur surrounding that. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for me? We've, there's nobody else. Cut everybody else off. I'm waiting. We want you. I want you. Yeah. Okay, so either with the job or with a person. Yes, you're being selected. I will tell you that. You're being selected. There goes like, eh. <laughs> Nobody puts baby in the corner. Yes, go time. The chariot. There you go. Cancer energy. This has everything to do with progress and moving things forward. Travel. Something to do with travel. Um, for some of you, they just said this is... Uh, something to do with a car or a vehicle, purchasing of a vehicle. Uh, um, they're just saying um, uh, travel, uh, getting a ride from someone, hearing from someone, reaching out, to, asking you, are you ready to go? It, that is what it is. It's, it's basically like, are you ready to go? Are you ready to do this? Yes, but it's significant. It's very, very important. And it's the right time. It's all to do with timing. Okay. Whew, these messages today. Yep, look at this. There's all this movement and travel that's coming up here. Coming out of a comfort zone. Getting out of some chaos. Getting out of some like 
troubled waters and getting into a much okay now they're just giving me like uh they just they just told me japan something to do with japan or maybe somewhere in asia okay hmm for some of you this is to do with work trust inheritance money a bank career marriage leaving a legacy long term putting roots down family hmm okay <clears throat> excuse me the high priestess here we go secret secret there's a secret oh this is a wow they're just saying uh you're gonna get like a surprise something's gonna be revealed surprise surprise this is the secret somebody's gonna tell you something <clears throat> excuse me this uh, if you can hear my voice <coughs> all of a sudden i feel like i can't talk i feel like a con constriction in my uh voice box here this this makes me feel like somebody who has uh <clears throat> been very conservative with their emotions <clears throat> is actually going to come out and reveal them and the way they they reveal them it's there's a there's a frog in the throat because <clears throat> this is uncomfortable for someone to express how they feel <clears throat> so there's a little bit of like i feel like rfk jr the way of trying to talk like trying to get it out <clears throat> but it's got to come out this is what i'm hearing and that, that could be you virgo or i'm picking up somebody else's energy but this is something that's been hidden these feelings these these emotions they've tried i'm hearing somebody's tried many many times to express how they feel and either they were um uh dejected or didn't want want to um hear it um the other person didn't want to hear it or or just was very apathetic towards the feelings or the emotions or the blessing uh because something to do with a new baby a relationship a proposal or a marriage been thinking about it <clears throat> um somebody uh, i'm just hearing uh could be receiving a surprise gift but there's an, an energy here of feeling unfulfilled somebody felt unfulfilled and another person kept trying and and now <clears throat> something's really coming out big time because look i feel like when i look at these these cups here you know th these are this is the ace of cups in action right here with the cloud i feel like the love that or the the emotion or whatever was offered before wasn't really satisfying or enough it didn't feel like a blessing or a gift okay <clears throat> and now it's it's like divinely given here you know which is why we have the high priestess here like it's like somebody's most authentic feeling it's like a gift that's being received i feel like you're getting this gift of love like a surprise gift of love you're it's being received this week and it's something that's i feel like has been hidden for such a long time and 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 it's finally coming out And your your intuition, I feel like your intuition has known this, but it's never really been offered. Not fully. Yeah, there's two of cups. There's definitely some type of contract, some tr some type of a mutual agreement, whether it's to do with career this week or love, <clears throat> or your health, or. <clears throat> anything in this these areas the overall message i feel like is there's there's a connection there's it's a sealing of the deal happens this week a sealing of the deal okay virgo so you know you have to apply this however this fits for you but this week i feel like it's gonna happen there's there, there's your debt somebody's something that you maybe have been waiting on or you've been hesitant or there's been hesitation and a waiting period like i feel that they're giving me the image of like being in a waiting room waiting 
or standing at the deli waiting for your number to be called just because you know it's just a matter of time waiting to hear back wait and then it comes like your number gets called your name gets called it's time to go back it's time to well go back for some of you there's this is a going back to something but it's time to do it the two of cups it's time it's time to come together you and this company you and this person friend family member lover whatever it's happening this week i feel that real strong yeah i do this week <clears throat> all right craziness this is crazy this is crazy this is crazy all right, let me take a look here. I want to take a look at some island time messages. There you go. The butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So Virgo, I mean, listen, this is really what this is happening. Something's happening. And it's going into this month of July. Some, and you know what? We just got through that strawberry moon. <clears throat> There's, we're into going into the new phase. Yeah, that full moon energy was on the, on Saturday the 22nd. And then we're going into the new moon on July 5th. So there's something occurring this week. It's leading up to this big change. You're going to hear something. There's going to be a change <clears throat> in your life. And it's it's a um, it's a threshold. You're crossing a threshold. It could be very, very mundane, a very small, teeny tiny thing, or it could be a massive shift. You did have the world card, and I do feel like whatever it is, it's life changing. All right, let's see what your messages of, of love oracle. What's going on here? What else can Virgo find out? What else does Virgo need to know about this shift of this change? Well, dang, fate, destiny, in partnership showing up here. Wow, destiny. It's destiny. Whatever this partnership is, it could be anything. Love partnership, work partnership, career, family members, uh, partnering with, with groups of people, other, other shifts and changes, whatever they are, they're occurring. All right, and you have trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. It's really beautiful, Virgo. I feel like... Um, I don't know what this major, like, I can't be, I can't, I just, I'm sorry, I can't be specific with this thing, but I do feel like it's profound. It is. It's profound. Let's get a couple of, um, I forget the name of this deck. I just see what, a little bit of money stuff showing up here. A little career finances, money, what's going on. Okay. That card, I'm not even going to use that because it, it, it totally scratched off all the words <clears throat> okay wow you have timing it's all in divine timing right now pull another card to see if you need to do it now wait a while or make a different decision okay the cards out here telling me what to do they want you to get another card so the question is pull another card to see if you need to do it now Wait a while or make a different decision. All right. You have power position. You are being promoted or called to lead. Time to step into your sovereignty and guide others with compassion. Yeah, you're being put in a power position for sure. And I feel like since we were asking about a career thing here <clears throat> and money. Uh, yeah, look at that. You see the... You see the eye? It's the eye of Horus. That's connected to uh, money. Listen, you're you're going to be in some type of leadership or power position. If you've been wondering if you are even going to get this position or if you should accept some kind of offer or make some kind of offer, I feel like it's time to do it. I feel like it's yes. Based on what all the other cards are saying here you even have opportunity doors are opening up for you you have the chance to change jobs start a business or invest in a new venture just do it so it's time yes this week specifically <clears throat> it's go time i keep saying that it's go time 
but it's very positive. All right, let's take a look at your cosmic insights. Anything here for Virgo? Spirit, anything for Virgo? The cosmic insights that Virgo needs to know. All right, some of you, this has to do with a divorce. You might be experiencing a breakup or going through a divorce or another person. This is going to be a huge shift in your life. Make this positive change. For some of you, it's a good thing. <clears throat> or somebody's divorcing another person and there's going to be a positive shift. It's going to have positive impact on you. Yep, some of you, there's honeymoon phase or attending somebody's wedding this week. Isn't that funny? Divorce and a wedding, right? Maybe it'll be your own. A divorce comes through, and then, of course, you have confession. Someone has to tell you something, and that's what I felt like. Remember, I couldn't speak. There was an energy there. Somebody's confessing something that... Something that needed to be confessed. And it feels like it has a lot to do, perhaps, with someone's feelings or emotions or, like, this big secret... Anything else for Virgo? All right, beautiful, manifest, tell the universe. Can you see it? What's going on? Tell the universe exactly what you want. Yep, manifest, work on that energy. <clears throat> All right, as far as you and another person, we're gonna take a look at the Chinese signs. See, you and another person, if this is related to a love relationship, We'll see what theirs and your Chinese signs are. Year of the horse. Okay, year of the snake. Year of the ox. Year of the rat. Year of the dog. Year of the pig. Year of the dragon. And year of the goat. Okay, a little bit of confirmation there for you guys. And what else does Virgo need to know? All right. Showing up here is Libra, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo. A few fixed signs there. Very significant. Okay, we have 61. We have August 26th. We have September 10th. <clears throat> Let's just get these out of the way here. September 20th. 1983. Someone's 45. September 9th. 1973, 1980, 1972, someone's 53, someone is 34, someone is 59 or born in 59, someone is 47, born in 47, August 31st, September 2nd, September 16th, Okay. Um, somebody's birthday is in May. Very significant month. Also November. Very significant month. Someone's in New Jersey. <clears throat> particularly. We have an S. So Southern New Jersey. <clears throat> More specifically. It could just be Jersey. You also have the word go. It's go time. I, keep, I feel like I keep saying that. It's go time. Somebody's name is May. <clears throat> um, okay. Now they're just telling me E-A-M. What is E-A-M? Or E-M-A? E-M-A. And they're just, uh, there's someone who's very weak, feels very weak, or is very weak for another person. We also have C-A, California. Um, we have V-I. Vic? Vicky? Uh, someone's a nurse giving an IV. Maybe you're in the hospital, you have an IV, and you're listening to this from your hospital room. Somebody's allergic to wheat. Be careful with the wheat. <clears throat> um, there's something going on with someone's AC, air con, air conditioning, AC, very significant. Um, somebody's name is John. Okay, John. Someone's in Washington. <clears throat> Okay, Washington. It could be in Washington, D.C., or it could be Washington State. Uh, someone's in Ireland. Someone's an OG. Holla. <laughs> OG. Someone calls someone an OG. 
Um, okay, somebody's watching Jaws. Who's gonna watch Jaws this summer? I would love to go like to a regular movie theater and see Jaws. Like if Jaws was playing, like a reg regular movie theater, I'd love to see that again. Uh, somebody says John, and we also have Sean, S H A W N. Sean, um, <laughs> go going, or it's like I'm hearing G O E I N G. Could be somebody's last name, or somebody's going somewhere, um, and then. I'm hearing goes x-ray, goes x-ray. Maybe somebody's going to get an x-ray. Somebody's on the AC expressway. Somebody's, okay, they're, they're saying goals, goals. We got some goals here. All right, gonad, whoa, whoa. Let's keep it PG here, please, people. Um, Someone is vying for your attention, or will be vying for your attention this week. Oh gosh, somebody, uh, okay, they're just saying Cajun, Cajun. Um, cave, Cajun and cave. Uh, so, uh, all right, they're giving me oncologist. Um, they're giving me gown, <clears throat> South Carolina, Jav javelin. Or Javi, Javelin. We have AJ. <laughs> They're telling me now sack. So some, if you're a male listening, something's up with your your sack or your, <laughs> you know, that area down there. You need to go, I don't know, do a, do a chalk cough. Ch uh, 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 what am I saying? A choke cough or something. Okay. <laughs> uh, Katie or Caitlin. They're just giving me, okay, South Virginia, I'm hearing. Uh, someone's name is Sunny, Sunny, S-U-N-N-Y, S-O-N-N-Y, Sunny. Oh, someone's in Ojai, Ojai, I guess California, Ojai. Oh, no, we have a J, Jan, Janice, Janet, two J's, J-J, okay, do we have any... Okay, Ontario. Um, I'm feeling Ontario. Hold on. Alaska. Somebody's getting a VJ. <laughs> I need to stop. Stop. You guys, you all make me this way. Oh, I just heard gas prices are going down. They just said gas prices are going to go down significantly. Which is weird because it's summer. Doesn't gas usually go up in the summer or does it go down? I can't remember. Gas is going down. Somebody's at GNC or is going to GNC picking up some vitamins or something. All right. I know it's a lot to keep up with, but the messages are just coming in so fast. Uh, okay. They're saying Nivea cream. Nivea cream. And... Um, Uh, Georgia. I'm here in Georgia. And I keep getting, okay. Mm, Wisconsin. Now they're saying Wisconsin. Okay. Let me get your charms. All right. So I'm, I'm cutting off. They just want to talk. And so I'm cutting them off. Let's get a couple of charms. What do you have? Okay. There we go. So we have, um, well, you got this the other day. So it's like, um, oh. They just said, um. Oh, okay. So that's, that's, okay. I know what it looks like, but that's not what they're telling me. What they're showing me here. All right, let me just show you. Um, this is a this is a doggy bone. They're giving me they're, well. They're, it's not. It's actually a bow tie with a diamond in it. But they're saying no, 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 no. That's a doggy bone with a little diamond on it or a little like tag. So I don't know if somebody has a doggy named Diamond or something or a doggy bolt. Like there's a little 
There's a little gem, a little doggy bone with a gem. I'm just hearing something to do with a dog. Maybe it's their doggy's birthday or somebody's getting puppy as a gift of some sort. Like receiving a pup. Maybe this has something to do with a puppy. This whole reading. <laughs> There's something here to do with a puppy. It's that time to go and get the doggy um, or a new doggy. You also have a brontosaurus. Okay. Dino. Dinosaur. Hmm. Yeah. Significant. Something significant, again, related to you, related to you that has to do with dinosaur, di di dinos, or dino. All right. I just want to get one more. One more for Virgo. Okay. Dragonfly. Beautiful. Similar to the butterfly. The dragonfly is connected to change. And I also feel like they just gave me the word metamorphosis. So something shifting and changing. Let me see if we can find, yeah, dragonfly. <clears throat> Being lighthearted, finding something out, something coming to light, adapting, changing, and healing. Yes, that's the energy of the dragonfly. Very beautiful. Like I said, some kind of secret coming out going to be go time this is beautiful or something being revealed that's going to make it like everything's going to shift and change i love this reading this week leave me a comment let me know if anything like this or you know like what's going on if you wish i know a lot of you like to keep your privacy that's fine if you want to contribute put it in the chat or put it in the comments below i do read the comments let me know if this resonates and in what way they're just saying somebody's born September 2nd, 1972. I just heard that. September 2nd, 1972. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave that reading. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.